Hi everyone and welcome to a van called Dono where I'm taking this Mark 7 Ford Transit welfare van and turning it into a multi-function camper van and today's video is going to be about First of all we'll have a quick look around the inside uh, the different features inside to uh, show you a few of the reasons why I bought this van as this was originally converted into a mess van there's loads of features in there in here which can help me uh, turn it into a decent camper van so I'll go through a couple of these on the inside we're just going to do the inside today because it's blowing a gale outside so first of all over the bulkhead there you've got a really good little storage area with a tight with a really good lock on it Let's have a look in there plenty of storage space there but it'll need to be insulated out Um, moving down the van here, it's already installed with five seats with integral seat belts and the table. So we've got those five seats there, I don't know how well you can see them. Um, however, we are going to be taking those out um, just to free up some more space in the van. Nice little feature down there, we've got a fire extinguisher, that'll come in handy later. Um, up on the roof here. It's already installed with those wind-fed vents. There's one here and one at the back. Real advantage of these windows, um, they are, there is a sliding section at the top, so the windows do open. Um, they're, also, <clears throat> they're also privacy glass as well, so that'll be a nice feature in the camper. Uh, over there, got a carbon monoxide alarm, could come in handy later. Um, this is a Clark's conversion, so it's a professional conversion. Um, and there are, you know, so there's already some nice panel in there. Whether we'd actually, although it's been cut to size, whether we'll actually reuse that or not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, one of the good things about this, um, with it being a mess van, is the amount of 12 volt electrical circuits there are. So that pipe, uh, that trunk in there, that goes up to the roof where the um, beacons are. Um, throughout the van you've got this 12 volt lighting uh, stuck into the beams there I have actually already broken one um, and then moving towards the back other handy little features um, okay well there's a bin top whether that will be of use I do not know um, some hooks right this has got a hot water integrated hot water system already wired up and down here we've got really useful stainless steel sink we'll probably use that again um, it does actually come with a full pump there's a whale pump and everything down there got a microwave not so bothered about the microwave so probably be getting rid of that um, again you can see you know there's all the elect relevant electricity points um, but over here is some of the one of the main features which is going to be a real advantage to us if we have a look back here it's got integrated stainless steel um, storage space and um, the van's actually sectioned off behind that section there there's a, there's a toilet which I'll show you another time but again we're going to be taking that out to free up some space in the van so we can build it properly and in this storage unit here there is if we just go down here there's loads of stuff of use um, there's a, you know there's a small immersion heater there probably not going to use that but one of the great features um, so we've got this professionally installed um, fuse box here and there is if you can see down here I'm not 100% sure you can see down there but we've got a Kraken Erbesbacher diesel heater that's already plumbed into the diesel it's got the exhaust on going out the back and um, so we're gonna probably we're gonna have to move it but um, with it already being plumbed in we're gonna try not to move it too far and um, but that'll be a great feature once the camper van's finished if we move over here um, you will hopefully just be able to make out we <laughs> got uh, already installed a couple of leisure batteries and further down there in the corner 
just bear with me, I'll see if I can get a light on them. So, we've got a load of electrics there, already installed. This is all part of the 12 volt system. There's no 24 volt in here at the moment, um, which we will be installing eventually. Um, but this is all 12 volt at the moment. Most of that's going to come out, um, but we'll repurpose loads of it because it's good professional stuff. And in the back there, I don't know whether you can see it, uh, there's a big tank there, that's a water holding tank and that's for flushing the toilet. Again, that's got loads of electrics, it's got an automatic pump, uh, things like that. Um, so that's the inside of the cab. You can see there we've got like a Gulper toilet pump, so that's uh, all part of the toilet system. Again, that's all coming out, I'm um, either going to try and sell some of it, or we might repurpose it. Um, but you've got all the plumbing here for your taps and everything like that. So um, we should be able to reuse them um, as part of our new camper kitchen. A little look around the inside of the van. It's quite a nice space. Got some decent headroom, um, which is part of the reason why I went for a high roof. So what we're gonna do now, the first job that we need to do now um, to open up this space is get rid of these seats and the table. Thanks for watching the vid. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a massive thumbs up. Consider subscribing and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.